Hey there, JR200 Spring 2022. It is uh, Sunday, and January 9th. Uh, looks like the Rams are going to beat the 49ers. Maybe the Saints will get in. All right, it's all good. All right, guys. Um, so uh, we're still, you know, struggling under the issues associated with the pandemic. Uh, but you're taking Jero 200 because you already know about this course. We are folklore. Okay, we are the original gangster, the OG of online education, and um, I teach this course together with a whole team of people, okay? Um, uh, Co-instructor, um, Julia Walsh and myself, uh, we share lectures. Julia Walsh is the course administrator. If you have any issues, please send an email directly to her, okay? Um, she'll be sending emails out to you all the time, keeping you on track to succeed. And that's what we want. This is. This is a, um, a course where we want you to succeed in terms of the course, but it is an incredible life skills course. And you're going to find um, that uh, much of what we talk about, you're going to be able to apply to your immediate situation. Um, it's the number one course at USC. Believe me, it is. It really is. Okay. Um, and I'm going to roll through um, uh, what it is you need to do to get an A in this course, but more importantly, um, how to use this information to kind of guide your life so that you're incredibly successful, because that's what we want for all of you, okay? Alrighty, so um, so I have the course, you can see that it says right here, student preview mood is on, okay? So this is exactly what um, you will look at in JERO 200 uh, when you're navigating the course, okay? So some people have been asking, hey, you know, um, I see this TBA, you know, when, when are the lectures? There are no lectures other than this, okay? So I'll be posting um, weekly YouTube lectures. So this is the how to get an A lecture. And then back to back, I'm gonna do um, the lecture for the first weekly assignment, okay? So you're gonna get both of these lectures today in your email, okay? And you just like access them via YouTube, all right? Now we do have a, a really incredibly uh, amazing team of people that are super highly qualified. Um, Tara Mastro um, got her uh, a degree in molecular biology at USC, ran a neuroscience lab for many years, taught at a number of um, uh, universities around Southern California, just joined our faculty. Raylan Kelly um, is, is in our master's degrees program, um, an amazing student, okay, who um, has uh, helped me TA this course many times. Princess Buiza is in our PhD program in the Biology of Aging program. Again, um, has done this many times. Lourdes Bustamante um, in our master's program. Uh, Jacqueline Dion, uh, uh, Dion, or Jackie Dion, got her master's degree. Um, Kevin um, Lee, Julia Dorado, and John Dion. ECO, are, these are all um, uh, master's candidates. Also got their undergraduate so they're going to help us to have a consistency in terms of the grading. And again, Julia will oversee all this, so, so everything is pretty laid out. All right, so what is it you have to do to get an A? Okay, so one of the first things you should really do is click right here, all right? All righty, and of course, download the syllabus, okay? Now, the syllabus, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of legalese. We have to put a lot of stuff in there just to make sure that we are satisfying a lot of USC policy, okay? So I'll give you that, all right? But that being said, um, it's chock full of information. So I'm gonna hit the enable editing button here, okay? So we get the full, full view of what the um, syllabus normally looks like, okay? And we are almost there. All right, so that's two. There, okay, cool. Awesome. We're in, all right? I got a lot of a lot of things open right now, so I apologize for that, all right? So um, again, it, you know, we self-promote. It's gonna be an, an amazing class for you to take. I'm just letting you know about that, okay? And then you read about, you know, what it is we're doing. You can read about, you know, the course, the course objectives. You know, we want you to have kind of a perspective um, about not only your aging, but the aging of your parents or grandparents, and really uh, across um, this whole spectrum of uh, 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 life challenges, you know, whether it's health issues, whether it's housing, whether it's financial planning, um, sociological issues, okay? Um, you know, who knows, maybe you're uh, 
uh, an industrial engineer and you need to, to design things, you, you know, you, in terms of uh, accommodating older people, um, you know, all, maybe you're going to be a policy person, on and on and on. So it's a, it has applicability to anybody. You're going to go to law school, you know, it's right up your alley. You know, maybe you'll be somebody that does estate planning or, or elder abuse or something like that. Okay, awesome. All right, so you need to know Blackboard, and here's all the, the, the information you need to know about um, Blackboard is IT and help. These right here um, are uh, hyperlinks, okay? So they will take you to, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, different sites that you will see that can help you out in terms of Zoom, which we're not using, okay? But in terms of uh, Blackboard and, um, and access to different software packages, okay? All righty. So that's all in here. We're gonna just kind of blow by this because we want to get to the to, to the real meat and potatoes. Okay. So this is what we do um, uh, in terms of assessing your learning. Okay. So we have a, we have some assignments. Okay. So um, the, uh, the you know the first thing is uh, we have um, our reading quizzes. Okay. And I put it down here. Okay. Um, these are the written papers right here. We have two small written papers called critical thinking assignments, two to three pages plus graphs and figures, okay? Very relevant. I guide you through how to do these written assignments um, just like I'm guiding you right now, all right? So you're gonna get a video just like this about how to do CT1 and how to do CT2. We call them CTs, okay? And you just gotta make sure, you know, in your phone, you have an alert, your calendar to the date, uh, give yourself at least a week in advance, but you can get it done anytime. Okay. Every single week, we have uh, a reading quiz and a, and a discussion. I'm going to show you that in a second. All right. Okay. Scroll on down. We're getting past this. We have uh, two exams, multiple choice. It's open course, but you really need to kind of catalog in your brain or even take notes as to where to find bits and pieces of information. Again, people do very well. The best part of this class is the interview paper. So you can interview your grandparents. Uh, an old friend, an old aunt, an old uncle, your parents, okay? Does the, you know, um, it, it doesn't really matter. And you're going to um, uh, pose that, some questions and relevant to the class, and you're going to then uh, sit there and, um, and, uh, and type away and put down their responses, and then you're going to um, interpret their responses through the lens of everything that you've learned in this class, okay? And it's, again, I'll guide you through that. All right, so this is right here where I really wanted to get to, okay? So like I said, um, uh, every single week you have a quiz and you have uh, a discussion, all right? So there's 15 weeks, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, if you, don't, if you do poorly on a quiz, don't, don't, um, don't freak out, okay? Because, you know, um, again, all the quizzes all together in your weighted total Blackboard that we'll look at in a second is only 15% of your grade. Okay, so you can bomb a quiz or two, and it's not going to be the end of the world. All right. Um, so the discussions. Okay. Well, we really want you to get in there and do this uh, again. If you miss one, it's not the end of the world. But you know what? I, I encourage you to just stay on track. Just make it part of your just your weekly um, uh, lifestyle that you're you're going in there and you're doing this because you're going to see it's worthwhile. The discussions. Um, to uh, to uh, again, there's 14. There's say 15. There's 14 of these. Um, the discussions, um, you put one primary post in, in response to the prompt that we list, you know, and people love it. They get into it. And then you look around at three of your classmates and you, and you look at what they posted and you give a quick interpretation or just a good, quick, hey, you know, I see your point. All right. And that's how you get full credit, full credit. All right. So 0.75 points for the primary post and then an additional 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0.25 for the three friends. It's just the way we've scaled it out. In the end, again, um, the discussions are 15% of your grade in total, right? So then we see the two re uh, uh, small writing assignments, 10% each in total, all right? The paper that is where you're, uh, it's a 10-page paper. You have references. And, okay, you guys can do it. It's really cool. It's such a great chance to get to know your grandparents like you've never gotten to know them before. You know? Before, it's just like, hey, Grandpa, how are you? Fine. All right, we'll see you. Okay, now you actually can sit there and learn something about them, right? And word is popping up prompts for me, okay? Um, calendar in these exams, okay? Communication is key on this, okay? And you're good to go, all right? So that's, you know, everything I wanted to show you. Of course, we have laid it out. Um, 
very clearly, uh, uh, we have found out for the most part, you know, we're going to hand out probably, I don't know, 70% A minus or more, okay? It's, um, a, you know, using a traditional grading scale. Um, there's a lot thrown at you. This is a marathon, all right? So you just got to stay on track. That's all I'm asking for you. Please, 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 please. And this is all the stuff that the USC has, um, has, throws at us. But please, please stay in contact and communicate if you have any issues. The worst case scenario is when we get these these um, emails from students. It's week 14. And it's like, you know what? The, the horse has been let out of the barn. You know, it's too late. You know, so you get, you know, any problem you have, any step of the way, you let us know. Okay. All right. Cool. Now we see everything is laid out here. Uh, um, uh, week by week by week and it's every single week this is not two lectures a week every single week okay and um, so it's all laid out very and all the dates are, are, are checked and they are then matched with um, what we see here in terms of uh, the course all right so I'm gonna get right in here back into the course all right so I downloaded the syllabus right there all right so let's go back to the starting page okay back to the announcements okay so um, here's the two critical p uh, thinking paper assignments. I'm going to show you how we get into there. Uh, we have a bunch of how-to folders for everything, all right? Uh, so again, if you have any questions, um, first go in and check our how-to folders, all right? You know, all right, hey, how to get an A? All right, so I'm going to post this new video right here. This is from last semester, all right? Cool. Um, um, how to use Turnitin, you click right here, it explains everything. How to avoid plagiarism. Every single reading assignment, that's three of them, okay? The two small papers, the critical thinking assignments, and the 10-page paper is run through Turnitin, all right? You can um, upload it and check your Turnitin score, okay? And then you can upload it again. You can say, oh, shoot, I have a Turnitin score of 30%, 40%. I can do better than that. And Turnitin will show you where the overlap is because we, we want you to think originally, interpret originally, okay? Um, this explains how you do the posting and, um, and discussion boards, okay? Uh, for those of you that add Jira later on, there's what to do here, okay? Um, this explains to you if you want to look at your old quizzes, what you need to do, how, how you go into your gradebook, and you click, boom, right there on the number, and then the old quiz comes up, okay? Um, you know, if you're, if you're sick, okay? There's a lot of sickness going on with COVID, okay, obviously, okay? So this explains what you have to do right here. All right, very cool. All right, what else do we have here? All right, so that's our how-to folders, okay? Um, you can Zoom with me anytime, all right? Email Julia, email me, okay? Again, she is the administrator, so she's the best contact person, and we can have, um, we can have Zoom. We're always looking for feedback, so you can do this survey a, a hundred times. It's our own survey. It's separate from the one that the Center for Excellence in Teaching puts out. It's kind of mind-numbing. This one's a little bit more applied to our course, all right? Awesome. Okay. If you want to do something for office hours, we have to do it over Zoom, so you just let us know in advance, okay? All right. Um, okay, that's it. We actually have extra credit right in here, okay? Everybody loves extra credit, okay? And this is just um, a, a really cool way to be creative, okay, um, where you... Um, Talk about what your life has like been, has what it's been like, sorry, during this COVID-19 pandemic, which mind-blowingly, um, we're going to be going into three years. You know, um, it's, you know, we've had a two full solid years of this stuff, you know. Um, it is what it is, all right? Get vaccinated. That's all there, that's, we, we, there are new drugs that are going to help, okay, down the line. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, um, uh, don't drink the Kool-Aid about it. it's no worse than the flu. Uh, if we look at annual deaths from the flu, um, you know, it varies from 20 to 30 to 40,000, you know, depending 40 would be the worst possible year over the last 15 years. Um, on record, we have um, about 840 million people died in our country from COVID. Um, but if you look at all the people that are out in the middle of nowhere that are off the grid that have died, it's really closer to about one and a half million people, all right? That's a big deal. That's about 40 times the flu, okay? All right, so you take it seriously. Plus, the new thing that is erupting in terms of your potential health is, uh, and this happens with some viral infections, um, is when your immune system attacks it, it also, um, it's going to uh, kill off the cells where the virus is housed. 
And uh, in the process, the immune system starts looking at the cells um, like bad guys. And next thing you know, you have a lifelong autoimmune disease and it's, it's not a picnic, okay? And this is this long haul syndrome. We don't even know what it's gonna be like, but if you know anybody has a autoimmune disease, you'll know that having that is not a picnic, all right? So take it seriously, all right? If you get sick, all right, during the, 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 um, the next semester, don't go to class, all right? That's just the new norm, you, you know? You're not feeling right, don't go to class, you know? Just Zoom or whatever it is, you know, if you have a reasonable professor, they're gonna have combined in-resident and um, uh, online access to the, to the lectures. Um, if you have to go out and you're sick, you put on a mask, just like the rest of the world has done for 20 years. We're finally half the country getting around to doing this. Um, it's just being reasonable, okay, um, uh, and not being selfish. So you just you, you 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 put on a mask when you're not feeling right, and it's the um, it's the right thing to do. Okay, cool. That's my soapbox there. All right, so. What are we gonna do? We gotta look at what, what else we have to do here. All right, so we're gonna look at our, our weekly assignments. All right, so I'm clicking right in. So we have a nice little description of what it's all about. And then you see here week one, week two, week three, okay, week four, five, okay, just a little reminder that that first writing assignment is due, okay, just a little reminder that the midterm's coming up, okay. And we're going to give you lots of, you know what, we communicate via email and academics, you know, we're not going to text you, all right? So pay attention to your emails, okay? All right, and there it is, all the whole course, all laid out, all right? So let's look at the first week, okay? And I'm going to do, do the lecture on the first week, okay? Every single week is just like this, okay? So we're going to click on that first week, okay? My first week video that I'm going to do after this one is going to be stuck right in here. It'll guide you through, in fact, what we'll do is we're going to read this reading material that is appropriate for this first week in class together. So I would then click right here, all right? I'm going to open it with my Adobe Acrobat, all right, and there it is, all right? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get out of the way here. Um, I like to scroll this way instead of using the little hand or the pages. And I'm just gonna go through here and we're gonna read this together, okay? I'm gonna highlight, you know, uh, why this is important in terms of the World Health Organization, okay? Why our US government finds this important to study aging, aging and disease, aging and sociality, aging and economics, all this kind of stuff, okay? And then I'll go through, it said, um, um, uh, one through five, chapters one through five. So I'll go through the overview later on today and then we'll do chapters one, two, three, four, and five. And that's what you have to read through for the first week, all right? Now, while you're reading this, okay, my advice to you is we're gonna go right back over here to the course, okay, is you simultaneously will open up your readings quiz, all right? So, so what you do is you click right here, okay? You hit begin, and then up pops the five questions, okay? One, two, three, four, five. And so while you're, go while you're um, you know, reading through um, the uh, course material that you downloaded right here, you're gonna go back and forth with, um, you can either do it you know, like I am where I'm finding it, or you can just do this, Okay, and you scroll through and you read as you're doing it, and then you're going back over here to the exam, all right? That's just the easiest way to do. Save each answer as you're going through, okay? And then when you're done, you hit save and submit, all right? Now, um, we don't have just five questions for each reading module. What we've done is we've created a pool of questions, 25 to 30 questions, okay, that Blackboard will randomly pull from. So. Um, no two students are going to get the exact quiz questions, okay? That being said, if you guys want to work together and nail these things together, more power to you, all right? There, there's, there's a lot to be said in terms of collaborative learning, all right? So that's fine. You can do that. I really, We don't really care, all right? All right. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so then um, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna take the quiz, okay? But I would, like I said, I'd be going through the reading and I would find it. Then I'd go back over here. I'm gonna leave this page. Yes, I do wanna leave the page, okay? All right, and here we go. 
And then I would go down here, okay? Um, and I'm gonna do my discussion, all right? So um, this is right here, the first discussion, okay? This tells you a little bit about me. This is a promotional done a long time ago. Yes, I am a surfer. I've had so many injuries. You know, I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not the same kind of surfer I was when I was 20, 30, 40, or 50, but you know, I'm still at it. Um, I'm gonna be, um, I'm 65, I'll be 66 in June. And um, I still shortboard. So, you know, it's because it's a passion for me, all right? Um, so this is a, a little video about me, okay? Um, you get to introduce yourself, you know, as well. Okay, how do you go about doing that? And that's our dog, Bella, and she is the bomb. Anybody who's had, ever had a German short art pointer, you know exactly how much work that is, okay? So you come in here, you hit click, all right, hit click. Then you go to create thread, boom, all right? Then the prompt is there again. You scroll down, all right, you entitle it, all right? All right, so I would, everybody calls me Doc out in the water, so we call Doc Walsh. It says, hey, spring 2022, all right? So, um, what do you want to know about me, man? I am geez, 65 going on 20, all right? That's my reality, okay? Just you can't keep a good guy down, and I am just on it. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, we we walk five miles a day together. Um, I am um, constantly am reading new materials, trying to to make, reinvent myself. Okay, I serve, I have fun. Okay, I what else am I doing? I am married to the most amazing woman. All right, how's that sound? And she is, she's like so much better than me. God, so much smarter, so much more creative, so much more together, it's the best, okay? And you know, and, then, and we're gonna teach you about relationships in this class and that's that's a big thing, okay? Um, and I'll say right here, hope to see you in the water. Bam, okay? So um, yeah. So that, you know, and I do, you know, um, um, my spot is an amazing place called Cotton's. In fact, I'm gonna, I'll show you what it looks like right here. because I'm gearing up for another class right now. All right, so um, yeah, so this is the place that you find me surfing. This was a couple months ago. That's me surfing Cotton's Point. Um, this is me taking pictures of Cotton's Point earlier. This is another day at Cotton's Point. I just, you know, you can't say enough. This place is an amazing place to be a surfer, right? That's what it's all about, all right, cool. All right, so that's what you do, all right? Um, okay, so we're done with that. I hit submit. All right, okay, and there it is, okay? So, and then what we would do is, um, so, you know what? Um, God, this guy, Doc Walsh, that was an amazing post. Then you come in, in here and hit reply, okay? And you hit reply, all right? Same deal, same deal. You know, you type away right here. You hit submit and you do that three times to get full credit. That's how that works. All right. All right. Next, you're going to do that once a week. Okay. In your JO200 weekly assignments. Okay. I'm leaving the page. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. And you know, we cover some really cool material. I think probably my pro, I mean, if, the, if, if, you, if you don't pay attention to anything, guys, pay attention to this down here, right here. Um, we're going to teach you to be your own very personal financial planner. We're going to teach you how to put away money unbelievably, okay? Um, on your own, you don't need a financial planner, okay? Um, we're gonna, it's going to be like, like your own video game, man. It's going to be so cool, and we're going to show you all about that, all right? In fact, when we come over here, um, one of our critical thinking assignments is all about that, okay? The first one is right here has to do with... Um, Gathering data, and so we're going to teach you how to go in and gather data, okay? Uh, comparing the U.S. and two different countries, okay? All right? And um, for a lot of things that are that are relevant to, to aging, okay? So, and this, and this explains everything right here. We're going to ask you to, um, to do it uh, with respect to um, uh, develop and, and developing countries, okay? Because they have a lot to learn, and that's what that's all about. And you'll see it in the trends that you look at when you gather the data. All right, so that gives you the background on it. Here's the rubric for that um, uh, writing assignment. Again, this is 10% of your grade, okay? And this is what 
uh, along with advice from Julia, who guides the entire team, will be used to do the grading, okay? Um, here are some FAQs, okay, that uh, come up in terms of doing that assignment, all right? And then these are the kind of charts that you generate, which is really cool, okay? All right, so then when you're all said and done, you hit right over here, and you upload it and to turn it in, okay? And again, um, you have multiple attempts. Check your turn in score, and then um, go ahead and turn in a new one when you get rid of the high overlap between you and somebody else, okay? All righty. Here's the second critical thing assignment. Again, I love this one, and this one is the you got it financial planning, all right? So we're going to have you do your own, okay, um, two lines of financial planning. One is where um, you're, you're maybe a small business, okay, um, um, or you're doing your own investing, okay, separate from uh, the company you work for, and these are called individual retirement accounts or IRAs. So we're going to teach you all about the different types. You know, the one you should be doing now as a youngster, okay, called a Roth IRA, and then we're going to look at actual uh, IRAs that you you do when you start making more money. Okay, again, this is putting away money that um, will reduce the amount of taxes you uh, pay later on in life, and at the same time ensure that it's an investment so you have um, growth in your funds that you're putting away for later years, okay? And it's all about compounding interest. And you'll see when you do this assignment that you put away a small amount of money, you get a big return on your investment. All right, the second one is, um, uh, and there are different rules that you can learn about that the government, um, uh, federal government, places on how much you can um, invest. So, so you can do far less money in terms of IRA with a 401k. You can invest a lot more money. Again, this is put, a 401k uh, is a benefit that is, that is put out there for working for a large company. Now, we have um, uh, supposedly working at uh, a university, okay, we are a not-for-profit, so we do what's called, what's called a 403B. That is exactly like a 401k, except for it's a not-for-profit company. Right? And anyway, so this is what you do. And you, it, you'll see it's going to be so much fun. You generate these figures and you analyze it. Okay? And you can see how much money you can make. That's what that's all about. Lastly, down here, again, same drill, FAQs. There's your rubric. And then down here, um, you turn it in right here. Lastly, we have this final interview paper, okay, that is due, all right, May 4th. And um, there's a, here's some how-to questions, but you can generate your own questions too, okay? Um, here's the rubric, boom, you put it in. So that is everything right there, okay? We saw over here the midterms, um, the way the midterm works, um, you have two hours, but you have an entire week to do this, because this is asynchronous. You're doing all this stuff on your own time, okay? We're just kind of guiding you. And uh, so, um, yeah, so you choose a time to do your midterm exam. Once you start, you have a two-hour block, okay? Um, if you have OSAS um, student accommodations, you let us know, and we extend the time, okay? But two hours should be is more than enough, okay? And you know what? It's okay to have OSAS accommodations. I need it, okay? Um, my kids need it, okay? It is what it is, you know? Uh, you can get the job done. You just need a little extra time. That's what that's all about, okay? It's evening the play of playing field, okay? All right, formerly DSP accommodations. All right, if I click on this right now, what am I gonna see as a student? Not much, okay, because we haven't opened it up. But we will open it up Sunday, February 27th, and leave it open all the way through March 6th. Okay, once you're in, you're in, all right? So you gotta be ready and allocate two hours to get that done, all right? Same thing down here, okay? All right, so I think I've gone through everything. Um, uh, the extra credit's fun, okay? Um, uh, please do contact us if you have any questions. Uh, we're here to help you. We want you all to succeed, like I said. Um, and, um, and there's a whole, a whole team, okay? We're all mentors. We're all here. Every one of us can, can give you, um, you can reach out to us, and we can give you some guidance in terms of succeeding, all right? All right, so what I got to do now is I got to terminate my little video right here, okay? So I'm going to say peace. I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm pulling for success. You know, I'm not only pulling for the Rams. But my wife, Julia, is from, uh, from New Orleans. So if the Rams win and New Orleans wins, 
they're in the playoffs too, okay? All right. It's all good. You know, they don't have Drew Brees, but you still pull for them, okay? All right, guys. Um, we'll see you in a couple minutes. You can see I'm going to have the same shirt on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to actually go through the first week, um, the material, and guide you through that, okay? All righty. Peace. Take care.